Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. My dear friends, before I proceed, I would like to make an announcement that I will not be available on Monday and Tuesday. I'll be out of station, so I'll be back again on Wednesday. Okay, so first of all, let's look at a news that is euro sterling falls sharply amid zetas over european banks euro and sterling fell sharply against the strengthened dollar on friday amid nervousness over banks with better than expected economic data failing to lift sentiment as we all know that dxy showed heavy sell-off and made a low of 101.93 this was the low made by DXY and the overall sentiment was extremely bearish but market absorbed the news and we got to see good amount of recovery on the chart of DXY. Though the chart uh, setup is not very positive but DXY is showing good recovery and there is a good possibility that after the market opening DXY will show further recovery. To continue the recovery or the uptrend, DXY needs to cross 103.50 level. If DXY breaks this level here, then the road will be clear and the next stop for DXY will be 104. So after the market opening, if DXY shows an upside also, this is the level DXY needs to cross first. And usually in this type of market setup, when the market is forming lower lows, usually this type of support levels do not work. But right now, the sentiment has changed. Market has absorbed the data. Market has absorbed the Fed's decision of pausing the interest rate hikes. And as a result, the support of 101.93 is still valid. So this is the support on the chart of DXY right now. And, and it should continue the up move for the next coming days. And in case... Uh, any news comes up during the weekend because news weekends can be scary especially in this type of okay uh, situation when we cannot predict the market the next day okay so be careful <laughs> so this is the one hour chart of gbp usd in front of us so after this sell-off gbp usd closed at one triple two eight this is the last traded price okay so there are many levels i have marked on the chart so let's discuss one by one so first of all if GBP USD. Okay, if the GBP USD shows weakness and go for a big sell, then we have support around 1.2190 to 1.2175. You can see here I have marked this box, the green box here. So this is the support zone on the chart of GBP USD. Usually we do not get to see much. Uh, volatility during the Asian session and the European session on Monday so if market remains dull and flat as we always get to see then there's a possibility that market may shows uh, show up support some sort of support around this area and you can at least expect a bounce of 20 25 30 pips in case DXY shows a good recovery then obviously market will be volatile GBP USD will be showing good sell-off in that case this support will not work so volatility of the market will play a very very big role if gbp usd breaks this level you can also go for a sell position but yes overall the trend of the market is up so as a result do not forget to follow proper risk management do not go for a blind sell off okay so you should be ready <laughs> see the main difference between a professional trader and a retail trader is that professional traders knows how to control the risk okay. we retail traders usually look at the profit first but professional traders okay when they spot a trading opportunity on the chart the first job okay is to look at the stop loss and they calculate the risk first okay so they so that they can know from before only if the trade goes in the wrong direction the how much money they will be losing the profit Okay, the profit is something that we can only expect from the market. The profit is not in our hand. Loss is the only thing that a trader can control. So if you really want to survive in this market, then you need to learn to control the loss. Okay, so enough 
speech so if market breaks this level here you can also go for a sell position but overall the trend on the market is towards the upside so please do your calculation okay and the next support on the chart of gbp usd will be around 1.2136 so if market starts falling then this is the level where you can expect the market to take some support Okay. So at least you can expect a bounce. Once you see market bouncing from this 1.2136 level, you can expect a uh, profit of 30, 40 pips. I'm not saying that this will be the level from where a trend reversal will come, but at least you can expect a bounce where you can make 40 to uh, 30, 40 pips. Okay. So this is the chart of GBP, USD. And these are the levels if market starts falling after the market opening. And if market starts going up, after the market opening then we have two resistances or two sell opportunities on the chart the first sell opportunity will be around the 100 moving average the blue line here and the level is 1.2266 to 1.2260 this is the first resistance on the chart of gbp usd this level is, uh, is good especially during the asian session and european session when there is not much volatility on monday if market hits this level observe the market if you see the market is struggling around this level market is showing price rejection from above then you'll get the confirmation that this level is uh, working as resistance and you can look for a sell position and on the other hand if market breaks this level then the second selling opportunity will be around 1.2283 level in here we can see that we have 50 moving average and we also have fibonacci 61.8 plus the previous support to act as resistance see this is the fibonacci we are considering here okay so 1.226066 is first resistance and 1.228380 is the second resistance on the chart of gbp usd where we can expect the market to reverse if not a complete trend reversal at least we can expect a reversal for day trading purpose where we can um, make 30 40 pips easily the reason behind considering considering sell positions on this time on this uptrend market is that okay right now we can see this market sentiment okay market sentiment is slowly changing okay otherwise i always prefer to stay with the trend of the market okay but slowly the market sentiment is changing so as a result i'm expecting that if market goes up also there will be some pressure from above if market reverses according to our expectation then we can obviously look for a sell position but my dear friends confirmation will be obviously very very important if you see market at a particular support then always try to look for price rejection from below it can be on the hourly time frame 30 minutes time frame 50 minutes time frame but yes market um, confirmation will be important in case market goes up then confirming a uh, price rejection from above will be an important factor because that will be the confirmation that though market is trying to go up but sellers are present and they are not allowing the market to do so okay those kind of understanding of the market sentiment is important anyways whatever i do follow proper risk management this is my analysis i can be wrong as well no traders 100 percent accurate so do not gamble with your hard-earned money as I always say capital protection should be your first priority always bye bye take care